Hey, this is Allison with Squiggly Pigs, and today we're going to talk about how to introduce a new guinea pig to your herd. Guinea pigs need to live in groups because they're very social animals. Human interaction is not a substitute for other guinea pigs, so simply giving your single pig extra attention will not be equivalent to getting another pig. Lone guinea pigs tend to be more fearful, shy, and unhappy, and many times getting a second guinea pig will actually cheer them right up and help bond with you even more. So before you introduce your new guinea pig, double check that you know what gender the pig is. There have been many cases of pet stores getting the gender wrong because it is difficult to tell when they're babies. I'll leave a link in the description below to help determine the sex of your guinea pig, but you can also check with your vet just to be extra sure. The next thing you'll want to do is have your new guinea pig in quarantine for at least two weeks. This means keeping that guinea pig in a separate cage in another room away from your other guinea pigs. Guinea pigs are prey animals that are great at hiding illnesses, so you need to watch the new pig closely for two weeks just to see if it's hiding any signs of sickness. If you see any signs at all, treat the illness with your vet before doing any introductions. So now that you've done a two-week quarantine and you have healthy guinea pigs, um, now you have to make sure that you have a cage large enough for two or more guinea pigs. Unfortunately, pet stores are usually misinformed and the majority of the cages they sell are too small for guinea pigs. I'll leave a link below on how to build your own CNC cage and the size requirements for your number of guinea pigs. For instance, two pigs needs a minimum of seven and a half square feet in their cage. So now you need to get your nice big cage ready for the new pig. Clean everything with a guinea pig safe cleaner and change out all of the bedding so the entire cage is fresh and clean. Use a guinea pig safe cleaner from your pet store or a 50-50 solution of water and white vinegar. Next, you need to pick out a neutral area to introduce the pigs. This is ideally a place that neither guinea pig has ever been in, such as a bathtub lined with towels on the bottom, your bed, or a blocked off area of the floor. One of the biggest mistakes I've seen with introductions are simply putting the new guinea pig in the cage with the existing pig. Guinea pigs will get defensive of their cage if you just throw a new pig in there, and they need to be introduced in a neutral area. So now that you have a neutral space ready, we are ready to introduce everyone. In these next videos, you'll see my most recent introduction of Meep, the little gray and white pig, to the rest of the herd. Make sure to do introductions when you have time to supervise the pigs for a while. It could take an hour or possibly longer. This particular introduction with my pigs took about three hours of supervision. I did the intros in my living room with a movie in the background so I wouldn't get bored. Usually you don't need to stare at them for three hours straight, but you will need to be near the cage for a while to separate if anyone fights. Speaking of fights, be ready at the sidelines with a towel. You should never pick up or touch fighting guinea pigs with your bare hands because they could bite you in all of the confusion. If they do fight, throw a towel on top of the pigs and lift one of them out. I like to put a pile of hay in the middle of the area as a distraction so they have something else to do besides chase each other around the cage. I also provide a water bottle, although they usually don't use it because introductions can be pretty stressful for them and they don't really take the time to drink water. Only use hideys or beds if they have multiple entrances so that they can't trap each other inside and fight. I like to use these little bl black plastic step stools, and they work great because no one gets trapped underneath. They're open on all sides. Now put all of the pigs that will be living together in the area at once. They will need to work out their issues as a herd, so there's no need to do separate introductions if you have many pigs. So as you can see so far, there hasn't been a lot of um, interaction with my pigs and me. Uh, mostly just smelling, which is totally fine. They're all doing really good so far. So now in the video you're seeing Moo um, do something called rumble strutting, which is basically where she is waving her hips back and forth, and that is probably going to happen if you're introducing two pigs. Uh, Moo likes to do it all of the time, so I kind of that expected that from her. <laughs> so now we'll talk about what's normal behavior and what you need to be on the lookout for. Um, you'll almost definitely see rumble strutting, which we talked about earlier with Moo. Um, a lot of the time that'll be accompanied by a low burring sound. That's normal. Um, you're going to see head raising, where they throw their heads back in the air. 
Um, you'll see chasing, vocalizing, mounting, chattering. Um, you could even see them pull out each other's hair. That doesn't even mean that you need to separate them. I know that's really startling um, to see guinea pigs pull out each other's hair, but as long as they're not doing it over and over and over again obsessively, it's fine. They can work out the, those issues um, amongst themselves and we don't need to get involved. Now some guinea pigs might squeal really loudly. Um, Nim was like that when I introduced her. Um, so basically what you need to do is just check that the guinea pig isn't injured because they'll also squeal when they're injured. Um, but if they're not, if they're just being dramatic and squealing, just leave them alone. They'll work it out. Um, they're probably just overwhelmed and scared. So now in the video, you had just seen Moo kind of bite, um, nip at Meep. Um, basically, she she didn't break any skin, didn't even make contact with the skin. Um, so it looks bad, but it, it didn't mean that I needed to separate them. As long as they're not hurt, you don't need to separate. So as far as biting goes, some guinea pigs will gently nip at other pigs. Um, without actually biting their skin. And since, since this is essentially harmless, just leave them be. Um, if you have seen that they have bitten and drawn blood, separate them right away and tend to the wound. Um, depending on the severity, you might need to get assistance, assistance from your vet. Um, also be on the lookout for charging at each other and wrestling, which will look like a big ball of fur and be very noisy. Um, and use your towel to separate them if that happens. Um, now in the video, Meep and Evie right now are kind of vocalizing quite a bit. Um, Evie's getting really upset and shortly after this video happened um, I did need to separate them for about five minutes um, just because they were wrestling, charging at each other and I only separated them for five minutes and put them back together and then they were fine. Um, but hopefully you won't encounter any of these issues and they'll get along fine. So after they're comfortable with each other, put everyone back into a completely clean cage and continue to supervise them until they seem at ease again. Make sure that they have separate sleeping areas so they won't fight over anything. And again, only have Heidi's in beds with multiple entrances um, so they won't fight over any areas. In a pinch, you can even drape a towel or a blanket over a corner of the cage for a simple Heidi until they're getting along. If after an hour or so together they're still bickering and not getting along, um, try a buddy bath. Um, buddy baths are exactly what they sound like, giving a bath to all the pigs at once. Put about an inch of water in the bathtub with a towel or mat on the bottom to prevent flipping, which I forgot to do in this video so they were slipping around a little bit. <laughs> Wash them all with a guinea pig safe shampoo. My favorite is Gorgeous Guineas and I'll leave a link in the description below where you can find them. Um, but there's also shampoos sold at pet stores that are for guinea pigs. Also make sure you completely rinse out all of the soap to prevent itchy skin and then completely dry them. I like to use a hair dryer on its lowest setting and I make it just barely warm to prevent overheating. Um, these are my pigs about to get dry. They're very angry with me. <laughs> um, guinea pigs can overheat really easily, so you just want to make sure you watch the heat of your blow dryer. Um, so after they're all completely dry, put them back into their clean cage. Buddy baths have really helped me out in my introductions. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's just when they all smell the same, um, they decide that they can get along together. So some people, um, in order to make all your guinea pigs smell the same, they recommend using um, vanilla or essential oil on the pigs. Um, I don't recommend doing this because animals have a much better sense of smell than humans and the strong smells are just going to overwhelm them and stress them out more. Um, and it's already going to be a stressful si situation getting to know a new pig. Um, so I would say just leave them be, use a buddy bath instead if you're having issues. So if you've done all of this and your guinea pigs still aren't getting along, um, unfortunately you may have incompatible personalities. Some guinea pigs might just not get along ever, just like humans, um, so you can either keep them separated permanently or you could look for a better personality match for your pig. 
Um, if you have any issues or questions with introductions, feel free to comment below or send me a video of the behavior. I'd be happy to help out. Um, I hope this video helped you in some way, and thanks for watching.